Women FC TV, uh, with Adam Hinchwood ahead of Braintree away in the National League South. Adam, just looking back on Saturday and even the last couple of games, what would you like to learn from and what would you like to build on going into Saturday? We've done um, a bit of work really just um, on um, how teams sort of set up against us. Um, you know, early part of the season, I think um, a lot of teams, you know, let us have a lot of the ball and maybe the last couple of games they've sort of gone a bit man for man and just yeah we've been done some work on, on what it looks like um, if teams come and press us and what we want to see and what the players are happy with and yeah it's been good it's been good really pleased with how, how the week's gone so far um, so yes it's, it's now about uh, transferring how well and the attitude and everything that the boys train with onto, onto match day um, so that you know the supporters get to see a full reflection of, of how hard and stuff the players work because they, they worked hard this week and we want to see that on a Saturday like when it matters. There was a half that was pretty intense on Saturday, the first half was really end to end, it was a little bit looser at the back, maybe a few more saves from Harrison, a few more chances made compared to other home games, is that something you'd quite like to, to build on on Saturday, building a, getting a few extra chances in? No, yeah definitely, 100%, um, you know we didn't, the two second half performances, we haven't worked there, goalkeeper were nowhere near enough, we haven't even got the ball into the opponent's half enough so yeah plenty for us to, to work on there um, but yeah like I say the lads have, have took on board and we've worked hard on it this week um, so I think, I think it comes from us sort of playing out under a bit of pressure um, which we looked at so that's that's been really encouraging um, yeah so just want to see a reflection of that on Saturday but like I say yeah it was, it was, it was only 10 game I thought first half I think them playing two strikers up against our two centre backs um, you know, we've looked at what that looks like so that we don't concede as many chances. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's like I say, good good week to reflect and, and just take stock of where we are. Um, and like I say, lads have responded really well. So, coming up on Saturday is Braintree. It seemed quite similar position in the league to us and they've also lost the previous two games as well. Is that something that's a bit easier for you? Do you expect them to sort of come at us a little bit more to break that record? They're in quite a similar position to us going into this. No, it's not one that I tend to sort of look at their 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 results and what they've been doing too much really. I mean the full focus for us is on ourselves. Um we've got to, we've got to perform better and if we do that then we know that we can hold our own and, and be a good good challenge for any team at this level. So, you know, that's the, the full focus on ourselves with without sort of being too cocky or nothing like that. Obviously we respect the opposition and it's a real tough place to go. They're a big, physical, strong side, and we're gonna to have to match them on that side of the game for sure. Um, and you know, but if if we perform like we do, and it's it's not to be. Like I think we've had some excellent away performances and and only drawn the games. But I honestly, believe if if we stick to playing in that vein, then we'll pick up more more wins than defeat. So um, you know, if if it's not to be, but we play play more like us, um, then that'd be a real positive for us. Lewis White has been someone who's been forming recently since he's come back in the team. How much of an impact is that and how much of a boost is it for the team, him getting into form again? No, definitely. Um, you know, still for me, not quite up to match match speed. I mean, he, he's done it now for two halves, um, probably more than two halves actually, but he seems to go for a half a game seems to be electric, no one can live with him and then sort of fades off in, in game. So that's something for us to look at and work on with Lewis now. We want to see if he can you know boost that to, to an hour um, and then and obviously get a full game where he's you know really sharp and sharp and at it but it's a huge boost yeah like I say um, I think Jav getting a goal as well for us will settle him down um, we've got Cal and Ollie that are back fully fit Adam Adams trained well um, most of ours looking a bit sharp and a bit more settled and, and Mo Jammer, you know, we know we've got an exciting player on our hands there as well. So, you know, it's just about getting some confidence and, and with, with all these boys and um, I, f I think like when they sort of settle down, um, which they seem to be getting to grips with now, the league, the vigours of the league and, and what's expected, um, you know, they'll be fine. Have been a few changes in the team, a few outgoings recently. Uh, a low move mentioned Javon Splat there. He's gone. He's playing dual registration for Whitehall. Kind of stand. He played on Tuesday night. What's the deal with with that with him? No, it was just a case of obviously he hadn't played many minutes in the last couple of weeks. Um, he was cup tied the week before for Eastbourne. Um, he obviously started in the away fixture on the Tuesday night. Was cup tied 
then only had an hour um, and, and Sean phoned and to see if he'd be available to get some more minutes and just seemed like it, it would make sense to keep um, you know him going and keep his fitness going and keep his sharpness going and obviously after scoring on Saturday didn't think it would be a bad move for him to to get more game time under his belt and you know keep keep uh, you know that confidence which is so important to the four players um, so that's all it was really with that one um, hopefully it will benefit us him going to get that game time. He has been improving a lot recently you can see he's building his confidence at this level is the plan very much for him to be involved in the team still this season? Oh yeah, definitely. It was literally, like I say, to work in our benefit. Um, Sean needed a striker. Um, he was still dual signed, um, and yeah, he's only been training with us. So we'll go through the work we have done on Tuesday with him um, tonight, and uh, yeah, it's definitely still you know a big part of our plans here. Uh, a couple of other moves coming out of the team. So Daniel Thompson's gone on loan to Chatham, and um, Bob Moradov has gone to Kingstonian on a duel. Talk us through those moves. Is it just to get those guys a little bit of minutes? Um, what's their plan? No, yeah, Dan Thompson. Obviously, we haven't seen him at all. He, he signed. We're just trying to work on his fitness and get back and done his calf. Um, so you know, the minutes that he can get is really welcome. Um, you know, he's, he's a fantastic lad to have around the dressing room and, and a great guy um, so I'm sure he'll really do well at Chatham but yeah it's just a case of that he needs game time um, and same with Nods really he's started a few games early part of the season um, you know he's been not had as many minutes lately um, so just a case really just an opportunity to get the minutes rather than them sort of like sitting about and waiting for their opportunity um, you know when their opportunity comes they want to be match fitness and match sharp, and I think by getting game time, you know, the, especially for Nods and and Jeff, like they're still young players, they need they need their game time. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm sure it'll work well for for all parties. You know, they get good players, and we get to get minutes into our our, our young players. So it's it's working well. Looking at is who is available for Saturday. Is there any players out who are coming into today? Um, how's Joel Colbrand's injury uh, coming at the moment? Yeah, he's progressing really well. Um, still, probably a couple of weeks away, though. Um, you know, his ankle ligaments. So, initially, when he done it, um, it's took a lot four to six weeks. So, you know, he's still on course to come maybe before that. Um, but yeah, he's progressing nicely. That's all we can say on that one. Um, there's a couple of lads that have tip knocks both the Dans. Um, we we'll have to assess them tonight. See how they're getting on. Um, Mickey's we've not seen him all week. So he's been ill. So, um, yeah, there's a couple of lads missing. Um, but yeah, we've got enough in the squad. I'm not saying the lads that have been training have trained really well this week.